Welcome, welcome. We welcome you once. We welcome you twice. We welcome you three times in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And I put this on. Wait a minute, let me do a former introduction. Welcome everyone. Welcome my cupcakes and donuts and boo-boo kitties and boos and bays and everybody else. Welcome to my channel. My name is Denisha Bell. I talk about food. I talk about clothes. I talk about whatever there is to talk about. So I'm glad you all are here. If this is your first time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've already done so, thank you so much. Also want to give a big thank you to everyone who watched my last video. You know, small accomplishments for me. I'm never gonna say small. Big accomplishments. I finally reached a thousand views. Yay! Actually, I think it's more than a thousand. Right now, I think it might be like 1,500. It may be a little more. Anyways, I feel accomplished. So I'm gonna continue this. And thank you for everyone who is on this journey with me. And thank you for supporting me. So I started the video off with, we welcome you once, we welcome you twice, we welcome you three times in the name of Jesus Christ. We used to say that like every Sunday at my church, which brings me to what we're going to talk about today. So today we're going to do just a little combo. I think her name is, let me go back because I put it on my Facebook and I was like, I might need to just save this topic for um, my YouTube because it's something that really needs to be discussed. Not really even discussed because it's been going on for so long that I don't think I will be living to see it change. And we're talking about church. We're not, we're going to we're not saying church. We're talking about the folks in the church. The church folks. The Jesus Christ Juniors. Whatever. The Jesus Christ Junior Presidents. Whoever they are, the ones that feel like they can judge those for what they wear, for what they decide to do. So this brings me to the topic of um, Miss, I think it's Jaquela Carr, Jaquela Carr. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm not familiar with her from what I've seen or what I've, you know, just in the past few weeks like her fan base is really huge not only from her music but I heard that she's even stepped into a little bit of acting so um she's very well known um I can say for myself I was I raised in the church absolutely was I at every event whenever the door of the church was open I was there so I was raised religious right so I would say probably whenever I went to college, which was North Carolina a and in Greensboro, um, is when I found a church that was uh, non-denominational. I was raised in a Methodist church. So um, I'm not gonna say very religious, like I won't put us up there with um, like holiness or whatever, but very, I'll say traditional very traditional church and I always well I'm not gonna say always but once I started thinking for myself I was like wow if we continue to go about this way the traditional way um I, I can see it straying a lot of younger um the younger demographic away um because it was just like I don't know I love my church I love my church family um, I would say that um, because I had church, I think it kept me grounded. Uh, I wasn't a bad child, but I do believe, you know, like when you're in a community like small, like where I was raised at in a church community, there's only so much you can do before you get back to your mama. And I feared my mama. They say fear God. I'm like, I fear my mama before I fear God. Like, because I know she's going to give me probably before God give me. That's how I thought. But anyway, so... Um, not only we're we gonna talk about that today I just so I, I, I came up with this slogan because I'm like I stay in somebody's story yeah I'm jumping all over the place yeah I'm sorry 
So I'm like, I stay in somebody's store. Like my mom, I was like, whose store are you in tonight? So not only are we gonna talk about that, it's just something I thought about while I was out shopping, of course. So I came up with this slogan, SIS. S-I-S. -S. Stay in S, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me read, let me come back. SIS, S-I-S-S. -S -S. I should've wore a shirt with it. Y'all know I make shirts too, right? S-I-S-S -S -S. and it's gonna be C I don't even know what I made up. Like this whole topic just got me off. Sis, stay in somebody's stuff. So, not store. So, stay in somebody store. So I came up with this slogan, so I'm like, maybe like the end of the month. Um, I could just show things that I picked up, what I like. We're definitely not gonna talk about makeup. If you wanna talk about makeup, what I like with makeup, go to my last video and we'll talk about that. So, anyways, let me get back to the topic, okay? So, anyways, we are gonna talk about what I picked up, but it just brought this topic up because whenever I was out shopping, and not really even shopping, I just, not shopping, just looking for things. Um, I kind of been in the corporate world from a very young age. Um, my first job was at a bank, BB, not my first job, my first job was shoe show. Uh, but my first like big girl job, I was only like 18, I believe, and I started working for a bb &T. So I'm not gonna tell my age because I'm gonna tell you how many years I've been in the corporate world. But anyways, um, so I've been in the corporate world for quite some time now and most of you who know me know that I am a curvy girl, right? Um, right now, I'm, I'm, I have more curves in places that I really don't want them in, but I'm a curvy girl. So I always, even from school, let's, let's go back even from like high school days, I had to, I don't know if they still do this because what I see now, I don't think they do, but we used to have to put our hands down, right? um to measure our skirts i don't know if this was everywhere but this is when i was in school and that might be ancient time now uh, we used to, have to put our hands down to measure if our skirts were um, too short or not well when you're hippie as myself or if you have big thighs like people call them ham hocks whatever you want to call it those who know me know that I am very, very hippie, curvy, whatever you want to call it, fat, big, thick, whatever. Um, so I could never wear skirts. I could never wear skirts. I could never wear shorts because if I put my hands, and I'm short and I'm only like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, when I put my hands down, my tip comes to like my knees. Right? So I'm like, forget it. I might as well not even wear shorts if I got to warm down long. At that time, it's cool off. Might as well say. Again, show my age because I said cool ox. But anyway, so I just never wore them. And like even as an adult, it started to become like, ooh, if I wear shorts, or will I get attention that I don't really want to get? Um, but I got over it. I started wearing shorts. I like them. I, I got short, short, like short, short. I'm going to wear my shorts. So anyways, what I, what I was saying is when I was out shopping, like if those who may know, maybe not even corporate, um, I have a lot of people that are in the military. Um, just certain occupations require you to dress a certain way. Um, corporate world, I remember bb and it might not, I think it was bb and um, I've worked at about three banks, but I think if I'm not mistaken, it was bb &T. and again, this was a long time ago, you couldn't wear bare legs. It might have been another job. It was one of the corporate jobs. No bare legs. You always had, if you had on a skirt, you had to wear like stockings, like weird. Like, I, I just didn't understand. And even outside of work, like with corporate or military or whatever it may be, your appearance is still judged. Like, if you're out doing your own thing, and God forbid you post a picture and it looks revealing, um, the corporate world or whatever they don't like that they like for you to look a certain way i can say um i'm here in texas now and hence the hat this is flying shockers y'all yeah my hair need to be done so bad like if i walk outside with this wig right now it's probably gonna catch on fire because it's starting to get hot in texas and this wig is so dry baby but anyways most of you know that i'm in 
Texas now. And what I like about Texas, like even corporate world, is not the corporate world. Um, on a good old dress day, baby, that means wear your best boots and your best jeans. However, I can say I still like to dress up. That's just me. Like, I still go to work, not because it's required, but I like to get dressed up for me. I might show up one day in a suit. It's not required for me to do that, but I like clothes, and I think that's a culture thing. Um, I think it still kind of stems a little bit from... Um, I heard a story about a lady that went to go pick up this older black lady. It was a white lady. I think she worked for, uh, again, this is an old story. I don't know verbatim, but basically she asked her, like, when she went to take, would go and take her to town, this black lady would be so dressed up. And she said, I'm just going to make up a name, Lula. Lula. Um, Lula, why are you always so dressed up when we're just going to town? And if you're Southern, you know town means going to city. And back in the day, that means when you go into town, you probably went once a month or whenever just to go pay your bills or go grocery shopping, whenever you can get away to town. So she asked her, she's like, why are you always so dressed up whenever you're just going to town? And Lula had to explain to her that to be taken serious as a black woman, I must dress apart because if I don't, um, they won't take me serious. Right, let's get back to the story. So this girl, let me let me make sure. I think it's Jaquela Carr. And I'm going to post her the picture that we're going to be talking about. Yeah, I'm probably going to be fixing my head a lot because I know I look a mess. I'm washing my hair after this, I promise. So, yes, Evangelist um, Jaquela Carr. So, some of you may have seen this. Again, if you're on my Facebook, we talked about it very briefly. She is about to ride a horse. When you look at the picture, she has on the attire to ride a horse. However, the church folks, the Jesus Junior presidents, are like throwing this child. I ain't gonna say child because she might be older than me. I don't think she's older than me because I've seen some old pictures of her. But throwing her, on a, like casting a stone like at her because of her attire. I don't know if it's because I haven't been in the church. In the church, as in the building. I have not been in the church building a long time. Um, the word, I still know the word. I still know where my help come from. I, I truly believe. Um, I'm not going to say the church ran me away. I think when I go to church, I want to, let's talk about things that are in the Bible and not things that you just came up with, like rules and tradition. Like I said, don't, don't throw traditions at me. We didn't even open up the Bible and we've been in here for two hours. Like, come on, baby, teach me something. Um, so they're, they're saying that she is, um, uh, worldliness of uh, becoming like a worldly woman and I ask you guys and please leave your responses down in the in below um, in the comments because I am like I'm not in tune with what's really going on in the church sounds like to me the same things are going on in the church that was going on in the church when I was in the church um, uh, just a lot of judgment and the things that I knew about some of the people that were in the church um yeah those are the things that we need to be talking about but anyways instead we're talking about what this what this lady not lady this evangelist that's her that is her i'm not gonna call her jacaylin evangelist jacaylin Carr. she's an evangelist regardless of what she have on you can't see her heart i wish some of you souls can be seen in an outfit and I can tell you, it will be way more revealing than what she's wearing. Because your souls is really showing. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, there's no way. This is just for clickbait. There's no way people are actually saying something about what she's... Because I'm still looking at the picture like, what did y'all want her to wear to ride a horse? Did y'all want her to look like a uh, Gone with the Wind lady? Really the issue. Like, is it because it's form-fitting? Like... But tights to ride a horse is supposed to be form fitting. Um, her, she's not showing. I always was taught like, if you're gonna show your legs, um, don't show too much of your chest. Or if you're gonna show your chest, don't show too much of your legs. That went out the window with me, child, a long time ago. But 
that was like when you're showing both then that was considered like revealing to the old folks um but again if you look at her picture she's not showing her breasts um her legs are not out she has her tights she has her boots on she has a cowboy hat on only thing I can tell is that she is form-fitting because she has the form to fit it. Get it? She has the form to fit it. So the only thing that I can come up with, I ain't going to say come up with because I search. I search most of your stories. I read them through and then I look at your pictures. And the issue is you don't have the form to fit what she got on. And yes, I said it. I think this is coming from a spirit of jealousy because she is young. She's able probably to relate with more people than what, who you're able to relate with. Um, and she, the girl has a beautiful shape. Um, I think really, and I'm going to say if she wore a sweatsuit because then I started scrolling and she has on another sweatsuit or something and they got had something to say about it. It's like, well, she's not riding a horse in this. Why would she, what, what, what's the reason for this being tight? It was like a sweatsuit. And like I said, people that don't realize or don't understand, people that have, or women that have curves, no matter what we put on, it's going to look as if we're trying to get attention. I, I don't see it. Put it down below, y'all. Like, this, I, I don't understand what is wrong. Put in the comments, what does it mean to become worldly? And I'm honest, like, honestly, I want to know, like, and I've heard this said many times, not because of what people wear, um, but just in other situations, I heard don't become, you know, so worldly. Um, honestly, I just, I want to know what does it mean to become a worldly woman if you are religious? Um, because I just, I, I can't in my heart accept that your attire can make someone say that you are a worldly woman. And maybe I'm looking at it from worldly eyes. Maybe I can't see. I don't know. Let's get into what I was picking up. So again, like I said, I was I was thinking like, you know, I do sometimes still think about like things that I post, you know, sometimes I might repost things that I wore out to the club or whatever, but I'm like, you know what? If you can judge me by what I wear, like I don't want to be a part of it anyway. It's like, I don't want to be a part of that, whatever it may be. Um, we, we've just gone through so much to just try to appease people like in the church and in the job like we just women we just have to do so much and I don't think people understand like all that we go through just to I'm gonna say fit in because I ain't never try to fit in with nobody Denisha ain't never try to fit in with nobody so I ain't, I'm not gonna say fit in but um to, to meet certain standards and I don't like I said I don't know where these standards come from I, I don't think it these definitely didn't come from the Bible. It's just tradition. So anyways, y'all, so let's talk about, so again, sis, I said it right this time. Sis, stay in somebody's stone. Stay in somebody's stone or stay on somebody's site. So it's gonna be sis and sauce. Something. Anyway, I'm going to put on a shirt, sis. So we're going to have sis days. And like I said, I'll probably do like at the end of the month, let you know like what I picked up, what I like. Um, some things I may have already used. So I can give you an honest review on it. So let's jump into this. First, I'm going to talk about, now the, the, the Hop the Fence Girls has been like really trending on uh, TikTok and stuff. And if you don't know about the fence, you know about the gate. So that's what they mean by hop the fence or fence girls. And they're known for like um, your replicas or dupes, I would say. Um, yeah, so they've been trending. But anyways, I like, I'm not gonna say I don't like a dupe or a replica. I'd rather have more of a influence by item. Like I don't have to have the name on it. So what I'm talking about is these sunglasses. 
Now this is not really a sunglass I would particularly like wear. It's not a shade. I usually like a cat eye or something like that. Like not really this. This is like a funky little shade. However, this is a um, influence by influence. I do influence by Loewe. Loewe. These from Amazon. Um, I don't have a magic link or anything, so I'll try to like maybe post it here. But the last time I checked, they were sold out. Um, so yeah. So these are some cute little influence. I say go with influence, but if you want to go with the dupe and if you want the Loewe Bay on the side, but I promise you that these look exactly the same. They were only like ten, twelve dollars. Whereas if you go to the gate and you want the the little um, Loewe sign right here, you might pay. $50, $100, somewhere like that, where the original ones is probably like $400. So I say go with the 10, baby. Like, I, I don't I don't need the sign. If, if I want the sign, Loewe, I'm going to go pay three to three $400 for the, the, the symbol on the side. Now, um, I haven't seen anything on the side yet that I won't. And I like to get my things like immediately. I don't like to wait three months to get my stuff. By three months, baby. We're going to be on to another brand by the time the gate get it to me from across the water somewhere. So, I'd rather go in Saks or Neiman's and get the real thing. The next, now, I, I'm not going to say I always like this. So, these are my new reading glasses. I don't know if you guys can see these. And these are my Celine. Notice, um, I love this, like, tortoise. I think that's what it's called, tortoise. Ooh, these are dirty. They need to be clean. Um, frames, and again, these are my new reading glasses. You know, like I was saying, we have to look the part when we're, you know, want people to take us serious. So yeah, I, I love these glasses. The case is good and thick, because sometimes these, um, I've had a few um, name brand glasses, sunglasses, or whatever, and the cases be giving me, why is my Amazon case better than this $400, um, pair of glasses like they be really slipping on the cases sometimes the packaging been cute but the cases it come with like a little um why well, I haven't even used it and I need to but they dirty yesterday if you're from here I went not yesterday a few days ago I went to San Marcos tell them to you want to save money get a bad bag get a bad bag because you ain't gonna walk but for so far and you just want to go home I just want to go home I just want to sit down like in my car, and most people's cars probably now, heated seats. I got heated and cooling though. Hmm. But anyways, in Texas, you would think I would use the cooling more, but I used the heating more because of my bag. I don't know what's going on with my bag. I thought homegirl was about to show up, um, and I think she's supposed to show up this week, so that could be the reason why I've been emotional. Could be the reason why I'm taking um, the evangelist story so personal like she my hunger but I feel like she my hunger I feel like we all sisters and I feel like y'all need to back back off of her y'all need to back back off of her because she okay my sis is good she bringing people into church that's all that matters only one man can judge her and it ain't you Shirley I think it was actually the woman ain't it posted so and if she watching Shirley it ain't you anyway so still talking about Du not dupes, but I'm going to say uh, aspire by. Because dupes, again, are you're going to actually duplicate the exact, like, what, like you're going to put Chanel on it. You're going to put Gucci on it. It's, well, or a replica. I don't know. I like to say inspired by. So these are by Steve Madden. I was telling you, I went to the San Marcos outlet and my back started hurting so bad. I had plans to hit up so many stores. I love that outlet. Um, but my back started acting up and uh, yeah, we cut it real short, baby. I went to like two stores. I'm like, okay, it's time to get on the road. Time to get back on 35. I 35, baby. So anyways, these are super cute. I don't know if y'all, I know. If you a girl, if you that girl, you follow her. High, low, looks. I'm, I'm gonna post it here. Yeah, if y'all haven't noticed by now, I'll tear up a word and I'll tear up a name. So, 
it's it's best that I just put it on the screen because like I said I'm gonna tear it up anyways I seen it on her she had a little video about should you get the real thing or should you get the inspired by what is worth and she was talking about these sandals and when she said and if you notice most of you notice these are inspired by the um, Christian Dior sandals um, I always love those sandals like always and when she showed these I'm like okay I'm going to see man and they come in a few different um, styles just like the Christian Dior I believe Christian Dior comes in different patterns um, but these were like oh, I love them and they're they're so comfortable like I keep looking over here y'all I'm sorry that's my little screen so if I'm looking over here I'm not cross-eyed or cock-eyed I'm looking over here and I need to be looking right here so back to camera one um so yeah I love them I picked them up I think they had, but no, they did. I know they did because it's the only reason I got to tell the parent. I'm like trying to find. I'm like I really just came in here for these, but it's like buy one get one half off. So I'm like, okay, buy one get one half off. You gotta get another one, right? Like, why would I walk out the store without getting another shoe? It doesn't make sense because I'm saving money. People don't understand. You're not really saving money. You're still spending money just because it's buy one get one half off. You're not saving money. You still spent more money than what you should have spent. But that's that's another conversation on financial literacy. Because they, they be getting us. They get me too. So these here, and I know, hmm, I was just talking about my back, right? The shoe is actually really, really comfortable. It's, it's very comfortable. Um, I'm just like, seeing like the places that we go to here now, it's a lot of walking. So... I don't know. I don't know if I should have got this shoe. But this shoe is definitely me. I don't have a red shoe in my closet. So I'm like, get the red shoe. Um, you don't have a red shoe. If you want to be cute, you know, with red. Because I always, if you notice, like in most of my videos, you probably know this. Or if you know me, I do the red lipstick a lot. So I love red. I love, I know a lot of people are like, well, I hate red. I love red. Call it what you want to call it. Like one lady at one of my corporate jobs was like, I had on red on a Wednesday, I believe it was. And she was like, do you know what that means to wear red on a Wednesday? And I'm like, no. And it might have been another day. I'm just gonna, I'm just saying Wednesday. She was like, in so many words, like a tramp or something like that. And I'm like, oh, I'll wear red every Wednesday then. That's how you get them back. Come back with them. Like, okay, good. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna wear red every Wednesday because I'm a tramp. I'm a good tramp. Just to throw them out. And then they had, excuse me, y'all. Then they had the bags. Like, probably not going to wear this bag either. I don't have a red bag um, either. But they had the bag. It was a cute, like, little... Uh, it's not a dress-up. It's more dress-down because it has, like, a pouch or something on here. So I just got a bag of the bag. So it's 30% off. Save the money, right? You save the money. You got 30% off. Why not get the bag? You go back, it's not going to be there. I love that outlet. If y'all haven't been to that outlet, go check it out. Um, sticking with clothes, I went to, haven't been to Forever 21 probably since I was 21. I'm lying, but yes, yeah, it's, it's been a minute. Because every time I go in there, like, oh. Now, the one in La Cantera is not that bad. La Cantera is like a nice, like, little outside mall. It's not that bad, but it's always busy because I think it's more touristy. Um, but it's very organized. One reason I stopped going to Forever 21 is because it's just too much. Again, I need things to make sense to me. I need it to be in the place. I need to be, I, I need all the jeans in one place. I need it color coordinated. I need you to make it easy for me, basically. Um, and a lot of Forever 21s don't. Did stop in, uh, the coach outlet. I haven't had coach in a long time. Well, I'm, I'm lying. My cousin Monica at her mom's birthday. She always gives her mom the best birthday parties. Um, I don't know when it was. She said it was for her mom. So we're all Leos, right? Her mom is a cancer, which is my auntie Diane. Um, is a cancer, and I really think it was our birthday. So we was in Miami. It was celebrating her too for her 40th. But anyway, she gave us these cute little. Um, wristlets from Coach. I, ever since then, I've been saying, oh, I love Coach. Anyways, I walked past there. It was busy. And I was like, walk right back out. But I seen this bag, which is a cute 
jean bag and it was on sale. It was on sale. Again, I'm saving money. Originally $378 for this bag. Um, and that day they had it for $119. So that is not bad. And I got this because I don't know if you ladies have noticed, denim is everywhere. You can't go anywhere without denim. So I'm like, I gotta get this purse because I can I already picture my head like um, denim on denim with this purse, like all denim, you know? So I thought this was cute, so I picked this up. And I always like going to like my little stores, like Marshalls and stuff. Steve Madden had these shoes too. Well, not these, but they were similar. These are Marshalls, and these were $29. So I'm like, it it do what it need to do. If I just want a cute little side to put on with whatever, um, it'll work. But Steve Madden also had these, you know, like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, you go there, you're only gonna find one. So I wouldn't even see you there or even try to post anything about it. However, oh, and Target. Target also have one now that is similar to this. And top of Talking about Target. Look at this. Now mine's look a little big because I got some big little um, chop tops. But what what do these? I'm gonna put this in front of my face. What do these look like? Inspired by the Skims, right? Target. I thought it was a cute little set. It fit. It fit me cute. The it was thirteen dollars. Some of the colors were on sale, like fifty percent off. Cute little just lounge around the house um wear but it just definitely put me let me stop the cover there it definitely put me in mind of um skims i am an old woman for real i'm an old woman but i think i'm an old woman with a little style so i got these i like them like people say when you look at them from the top they look like ugh. like these ugly these little ugly but from the side they be cute and I love this color, like most people just get like the white or whatever. I thought this was real cute for the spring. And like I said, I found these like two little tops. So yeah, these are the New Balance 550 and I got these from Hibbit Sports. So yeah, I've been like following this lady and her name is um, Waka Handmade and I'll definitely make sure I post her. Um, she's from Columbia. And her bags are handmade from Colombia, and they are gorgeous. Like, when I first seen this bag, I'm like, oh my God, I hope she still had this bag when I get out there. And then there's so many other different styles that's on my wish list, and hopefully I'll get another one before summer. Um, because I love, I like being unique. I like not looking like everyone else. I like, these are things that somebody's gonna stop you. Someone's gonna stop you and say, hey, where you get your bag? And it's not in a department store. Um, and she says she doesn't repeat her style. So it's not like I have the bag and everyone else had the bag. I also like a bag that can just be worn every day. I probably won't wear this every day because it's just so nice. Like I want to be able to keep it up and not get it messed up. But with this strap, it's an everyday bag. You know, like it's something you can wear with jeans. It's something It's so beautiful. You can actually wear it with um, skirts or a dress. Like it's a... Overall, it's just a beautiful bag, and like every bag, every bag she has, she have some that you can change the, the straps out on. Um, those, so she said, those sell out so fast, like she sold out like the day before. Um, so you can buy like the additional straps to go on to it. She have some that's made out, out of a, like a wicker basket, and I'll make sure I post um, some of her other designs here. But yeah, so I want to make sure that when I'm doing this sis stay in somebody's store, I also want to stay supporting small businesses. So I do want to always try to highlight a small business every month. Um, I'm not looking for anything for free, but however, if you have a business and I would love to support, you know, put your business down in the comments and make sure you go and look her up. Also, I'll post um, the lash, my lashes, y'all, like, these lashes are like the best and i'm not i said i wasn't talking about makeup however um these lashes have been like my go-to every day every day i wear these lashes from esv beauty i cannot go without these lashes these lashes are every time i wear them, people are like 
those are the lashes I'm looking for because they're fluffy and they look kind of natural. They're kind of wild. Like they're not too dramatic, but they ain't, they ain't short little lashes. If I'm gonna wear short lashes, I might as well wear my own. Like give me a lash, baby. Um, but they're perfect. They're like the perfect size. Um, also her accessories, and I'll post something right here to show like her accessories are so beautiful. I love an earring or a little statement piece that just take any outfit up just a notch. Um, so her accessories, I've also been loving her accessories as well. Uh, speaking of accessories, I need to let y'all know these forever, I forgot about these forever 21 earring. But the big chunky earring like the Bottega earrings are now like a thing. So I did buy these um, little patches that you put on your ears for heavy heavy earrings so i'll from amazon of course so i'll check those out and see how i like them and see if it works because if they work baby i'm about to be heavy earringing it up this summer you hear me i love a big old earring i love people that i like when people like wonder i like when people like oh how do you walk in those all day or oh my god those earrings are gorgeous but aren't are, are they heavy I, I love wearing something that's just gonna get a give me a stupid question so I can give you a stupid answer back. Like, you know, I, I love that. So yeah, I hope these work so I can get my big chick earrings. I don't I don't think I'll be getting the Bottega earrings, but I will get the influence by razors. I have been loving. These are the Flamingo razors. So every time I go into TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I always pick these up. These are like um $7.99, I think maybe in the store itself, they might be like $15. Might be nine, I don't know. I'm saving money. I'm saving money. So, I like to pick these up. TikTok, I just be on TikTok just scrolling, y'all. Like, scrolling, 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 scrolling. My mama just got on TikTok and she was like, I don't like it because the videos go too fast. I'm like, give her a month. She's going to be on TikTok all day. Anyways, someone was an Asian lady. Y'all know we are now into the Korean Asian skin regimens. Um, but it was an Asian lady and she was like, how she's kept her skin so healthy was dry brushing. And I was like, dry brush? What's that? Anyways, sitting in line at um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx or somewhere and I seen this brush. It's a dry, dry, uh, plant-based dry brush. So I'm going to try and see if it gives my skin a glow or, or exfoliate. I, I think really it's just exfoliating. That's what it really is. So pick that up. I also like to pick up like my brushes and stuff from um, TJ Maxx Marshalls. Like this whole little eye kit thing was like $8, whereas in the store it probably was 20. So always get your brushes and stuff from there. So this little thing, uh, PMD, I heard, well, there's a few people, but Peyton, my girl, Peyton Charles, um, I know she's done a few sponsors with them and walking in Marshalls, I seen this and I always, it always worth my attention when I have this right here. Cause I'm saving money. I'm saving money. It had like a little red sticker on it. So this is the Smart Facial Cleansing Device um, by PMD. Again, like I said, I know um, a few YouTubers I follow have done some work with them. So I had to pick it up. It was on clearance. So I'm like, oh, this is a steal. Cause I'm, like I told you in the last video, I'm really gonna get into my whole skin regimen thing. Then I went to Ulta cause you know, we, um, should be in nobody or to Sephora or nothing this month. But this is it. Well, this stuff, like I said, is from March and April. But th this is it. Like, I, I don't need nothing else. But there is this guy in Ulta. And, like, you know how, like, you just see people like, oh, he's so pretty. Especially when it's a man. Like, a man with pretty skin and his eyebrows were snatched. And I'm like, God, he is pretty. Like, that's, that's the North Carolina come out of me. So anyways, I'm like, what you use on your skin? And then he was like, let me show you. So anyways, he worked for the MAC counter. Anytime someone worked for a counter and then they take you somewhere else, oh, they about to give you the truth. Because he should, I don't think MAC sell skin. I don't know. Maybe they do. But um, I don't think they do. So that's probably why he was okay with showing me that. But he's still talking about MAC, so... I'm gonna, I told him he might show up on my screen. But this is the new Estee Lauder Melting Soft Cream Mask. Um, comes like this. 
This must be a new line because Estee Lauder always been blue from what I thought. When I seen pink, I'm like, oh, is this Estee Lauder? Um, this is the Nutritious. There I go. Words. Radiant Essence Lotion. Um, and then this was the two in foam cleanser. So I didn't really get uh, too many, as many as I wanted, um, sets with the Sephora sale. So when I seen this and he told me it was good, the price was good. It wasn't like breaking a bank like on that Dr. Dennis Ross. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I took that bag. I didn't even open it. I, even, I didn't even use it because, again, I don't really have a problematic skin. So I didn't need that gold in the bottle, whatever it was. So yeah i took it back um so yeah that is y'all let me show y'all something else so y'all know how when you pack it so usually when i'm in marshall's and stuff i'm always always getting like these bags like they're only like 99 cent i believe yes 99 cent so every time i go in there especially when i see one perk like this i always when i say always always pick them up like I always pick these little bags. They're 99 cents, and I use them for everything. Like oh my god, there's so much in here. I don't know what's in here, but I always pick these up. 99 cents. But I, I have a cricket, not cricket. I have a silhouette, and I'm like I need to start putting it to use. So I always come up with creative ideas, but I be wanting somebody else to do it for me. I don't want to do it. So you know, like when you pack and you don't want to overpack, or is it just me to overpack? I know it's not just me. I want to get to only packing what I need and maybe one extra outfit and if there's anything else I need you're gonna have to buy it when you get there so I thought about these bags I thought it was so cute so what I'm gonna do is put on these and this is just this is not even part of this but I just want to show you because I use these for my shirts and stuff like that I was making and selling um and I just have so many of them left so what I'm thinking like using these as packing bags and then it'll have titles on it of what it is like maybe even have day one day two airport run y'all help me like but I want some like cute little slogans like girl you ain't got nothing else and this is like you're something else so like on the bag it'll say this all I got this is my last outfit or um club outfit if I'm still up with the 40 and up people. But this one says lay by the pool because I'm not getting in, but I'm gonna be cute. So just gonna have all like my swimwear and it's huge. So y'all help me out with some slogans for these bags. I do wanna make some before my next trip. When that's gonna be, I don't know. Hopefully so. So yeah, y'all, that's it. Oh, let me, we can't forget about, so y'all know I had to get a new phone too. That was one thing. I had to get a new phone because we talked about that in the last, um, two maybe videos but how someone stole my phone so i did have to upgrade i am loving it it's the iphone 14 pro max i love the videos everything else will do it the same to me so for the face recognition it comes up different but everything else is the same I, i'm not really a tanky person so i don't know i can't tell you all my tanky stuff i will get it from amazon well not tanky but like my accessories and stuff like this is for my ipad I got this little cover from Amazon. Um, my stylus pen, I didn't get the Apple one. And typically I get a lot of Apple product, but I'm like, it's a stylus pen. All I do is use good notes anyway. So it's gonna work the same. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about this too. In your cases, like the case I had got, I, when I went to Verizon to get my phone, like, of course, I want to get a case because I just got a phone. Yeah, the case was like $50. It is ridiculous. Went right across the street to Marshall's. This same Kate Spade case was $14.99. They have this same case right now in Verizon for $50. So I will give you 20% or 10% off for becoming, like, for getting a new phone. I'm like, really? Keep it. Hopefully it, it, it lasts me until I get across the street to Marshall. So put it back to her. This too, y'all. If y'all ever want to get, um, or feel like you need something luxury, buy something cheap. Like, it is an experience just to get luxury, luxury packaging. So I have bought these Chanel cotton, um, cotton, pads i guess you would say let me see what they call it the packaging was just so i just love the experience of opening up like luxury packaging but anyways i probably put these like in my guest bathroom just so it looks like you know 
I'm that girl to be like I always say aesthetically pleasing. Um, but these are like twenty dollars. I don't know if it was twenty dollars, but um, they're cotton pads. Usually I use a shishado. Right, that's how you say it. Don't get those from Sephora. Get them from Marshalls. They're they're like half the price at Marshalls, and they always have them. However, these are like the little Chanel pants, and they feel so good, and they're so thick, like super thick. So whenever I do my guest bathroom over, I'm gonna make sure I put these in some type of little container. My containers, y'all, I've been loving them. And my um, pantry is keeping things organized the way I want it to keep them organized. I will be getting some more of the home edit stuff, so I'm sure that'll be on the next episode of Sis. Stay in somebody's stuff. I didn't mean to be this long, y'all, but I did want to do this. This is really, like I said, March and April. I just probably do once a month. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And like I said, make sure you put your thoughts down in the bottom about what y'all feel about those church folks judging. Oh, girl. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all cupcakes and donuts and sis and bros and bookies and booze. Mwah.